Are you interested in supporting indigenous artists and designers, but worried about cultural appropriation? If this sounds like you, we're here to say you're not alone. Avoiding cultural appropriation can feel tricky to navigate, but good news. Purchasing and respectfully using indigenous made products is easy to do. We'll show you how. Before we dig in further, let's first learn the meaning of cultural appropriation and how to spot it. We love author Maisha Johnson's definition of cultural appropriation, a particular power dynamic in which members of a dominant culture take elements from a culture of people who have been systematically oppressed by that dominant group. Cultural appropriation involves profit too. Members of the dominant culture almost always have the ability to profit off of what they've stolen, providing no compensation to those they've stolen from. Cultural appropriation is a form of modern day colonization and oppression that directly harms indigenous creators. It can look like indigenous artists having their designs stolen by other brands, including luxury and household names. In these cases, indigenous designers do not receive compensation for their time and efforts while others profit. Appropriation can also look like indigenous artists being forced to compete with non-indigenous brands selling fake indigenous inspired products. Here, we're talking about products that are not created by an indigenous person, but feature an indigenous inspired design. For example, you might have seen dream catchers or beadwork made by non-indigenous people for sale online or in a local store. Non-indigenous brands often do not understand the significance of the designs they're selling. They also often do not invest the same time and energy into creating their products. As a result, they frequently offer their products at a lower price point than indigenous designers, undercutting indigenous made products. And they often fool consumers into thinking their products are indigenous made. So what should you do if you see cultural appropriation happening? How can you avoid it yourself? If you spot cultural appropriation, call it out when you see it. Approach the person or group with good intentions, knowing that they may have a lack of understanding. Tell them how and why their actions are hurtful. You're likely wondering whether non-Indigenous people can purchase and wear Indigenous-made items. The easiest way to avoid cultural appropriation? Buy from Indigenous creators and businesses. It's very okay to purchase and display Indigenous designs as long as they're created by Indigenous people. Buy items from Native businesses and creators directly. When that's not possible, research and identify non-Native businesses working in partnership with Native designers in a good way. If you're worried about accidentally purchasing ceremonial items, trust that Indigenous artists do the work to ensure the products they're selling are appropriate. An indigenous artist will not sell ceremonial objects to non-indigenous customers. If you're not sure if a business is native owned, ask. If you're worried something is a ceremonial item or not okay for you to have, ask. Look for opportunities to buy indigenous when you can. Leave an indigenous artist a positive review when you have a good experience. Hire indigenous designers, ensuring that design ownership stays with the artists and that artists are fairly compensated. Wondering how to find indigenous artists and designers? Look for indigenous business associations or chambers of commerce in your area. A simple online search can also point you in the right direction. Use search terms like indigenous owned, indigenous fashion, and indigenous brands as a starting point. Small indigenous owned brands and marketplaces are always good bets. Indigenous brands, artists, and designers need your support. Staying up to date on the conversation surrounding cultural appropriation can help you confidently identify authentic indigenous products and appreciate rather than appropriate indigenous culture. To learn more about cultural appropriation, visit nativegov.org.